Hi everyone, it's Raja. And I am Carrie Colby. And you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion, Fashion Photo, Photo Review. Review. Ooh. 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 This week we are going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of All Star Season 8 of... Finale Fabulosity. Mm -hmm. Now that is a bit of a tongue twister, but we are getting a twist of an ending. Mm -hmm. The girls are back. All the girls get to present their looks on the main stage, which is really going to be a super duper amount of fun. That is. We get to toot and boot every single one of the looks, and we have a top two. That's that's not normal. Normally they like to leave like a little three, mm -mm, little four, honey. Not with two. all stars. The season is over, but Wait. you can continue to binge watch on Paramount Plus. And if you live outside of the U.S., Canada, or Australia, do watch on Wow Presents Plus. All over the world. As all stars, we know, I know, you save the damn best thing, the most expensive thing, for the end. Bitch, you will always remember me because of BAM. Cat, cat, yeah. Cow! Nobody here ever seen him before. Category is finale. Fabulosity. First to the stage we bring Santa Monica Beverly Hills. Uh, this is very pretty. Oh, I love it. It's very like kind of pageanty for her. Mm -hmm. like, very glamorous. Uh, it's very glamour. It's very fashion. It's very showgirly. Kind of a, a slight departure for what I always imagined Santa Monica Beverly Hills to be wearing. Purple is one of my favorite colors it in is. the world. She it's a color beautiful. of royalty. She is absolutely glowing in this. A turban would have been sick. That would have been fierce. Face Monica. gorgeous. I would have wanted to see more. So it's a soft toot for me. It's a toot. Next to the stage, we bring Nisha Lopez. Oh, oh, see what I mean when I say bring it? Like, I want to look at this and be like, wow, mm -hmm. bitch did it. She looked real good here at the end. Mm -hmm. Like, her last three looks mm -hmm. were like the most upper echelon of all her stuff. Well, because she thought she was going to save it all for the end. But she looks amazing. I love the fabrics. I love the color choices. Mm -hmm. I love this sort of iridescence that that's happening shoulder. with the silk and then and then the volume. It gives me Scaparelli. Yeah. It also gives me a little bit of Christina Aguilera yeah, as for the, pheromone. Yep. Within Sunny. the same like vein of like pageantry that has made Nisha Lopez such an amazing and remembered character here in the United States as being one of the Miss Continentals. Big deal. She looks like a big deal. Yeah. Easy yeah. to. The toot. Next to the stage, we bring Mrs. Kasha Davis. Oh, Ooh, I love it. This is pretty. Oh, very her, right? Her drag mother's aesthetic was kind of Corella S. Mm. She's now taking on that mantle. She's giving glamour. Black and white is very powerful. And I love this sort of like belly puck print of brocade or whatever the f that is. It looks so cool. It's to the floor, baby. It is to the floor. You know, sometimes it ain't. Sometimes you see the bottom and it's of it. It's a cinch. I see a corset. Like, she's giving it. This is really ultimate level drag. Her hair is giving me Dame Edna. Very fancy. It's a soft toot. I give this look a toot. Next, we bring to the stage Darian Lake. Mm -hmm. Oh. This is pretty. That hair is stunning. Oh. Ooh, see, she gives us that drag. She gives us that knock body. Wow. That's very pretty. She's like, you know what? Let me give you some Adi, 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 Adi on mm -hmm. this mother stage, bitch. When you come back to All Stars, you really give everything you have. It's that and lip fillers. Of course. Mm -hmm. Now, Darian Lake is turning it. She looks fabulous. I love this combination of color. Gorgeous. She looks gorgeous. I give Darian Lake a toot. It's mm -hmm. a toot. Mm -hmm. Next to the stage, we bring James Mansfield. Yeah. Oh. She done took Kahana Montrese's gig, huh? Bitch. This is gorgeous. She though. said, I'm James Mansfield, and I did not come to 
play. This is really beautiful. She said she's ready this to be on RuPaul's Drag Race Live bitch. as a headliner, bitch. As the host. Okay. I'm telling you right now, this look is stunning. The fiery orange. You know when you are when you eat an orange and you can feel the sour sweet in the back of your mouth? Mm -hmm. I feel it with her in this look. It is gorgeous. The way the rhinestones are placed on the entire thing. This is the best of the best of the best that James has looked. And James has brought some looks this season. Mm -hmm. She has never looked better and this is the opportunity to go there with it. And James Mansfield gets a two. It's a shoot for me, honey. Next, we bring to the stage Kahana Montrose. Uh, She's dressed as a deity. Ooh. Oh. Uh, wow. It is stunning. Look at the inside lining of the cape is mirrored. This is almost reminding me a little bit of like Got Mix finale. The well, bones, the, yeah. the like skeletal energy with the gorgeous couture element. Mm. Just a tiny tip of the toe with the rest of it kind of hitting the floor and cascading like what the mm. Look how f gorgeous her face is. Every inch of this is perfect. It is giving me all the goddess, all the fantasy. It is so well executed. I give this an absolute toot. This is a shoot for me. Next, we bring to the stage Miss Lala Ri. Oh. Okay. This is very couture for her. Uh huh. I love the hair. Love Sparkling red. Mm -hmm. She looks gorgeous. That hair is lacquered to her. The red is redding. She is red for filth. Her skin looks beautiful. And it's got, it's giving me roses. Yep. Regal. Ruffles. Ruffles and roses. It's everything you want on Valentine's Day. Toot. Toot. Next, we bring to the stage Alexis Michelle. Stunning. Oh, bitch. Wow. She almost reminds me a little bit of Jinxie. It's the hair color with the red lip with the red outfit. You know, Jinx loves oh, a good red. This is red, so beautiful. The red on the gown. Oh. She has waited so long to have an opportunity to do an All Stars. Oh. You can feel it in this look. This, this color is so powerful, and the, the fabric choice and beautiful. the silhouette. It is very quintessentially Alexis Michelle. She knows her body. Mm, she knows mm, what she wants to mm. look like, and this red is breathtakingly unbelievable. It is the color of surging blood. And I am excited by it. Baby, look at it. It's the gloves. It's the tool on the skirt. It's the way it lays over to one side in that asymmetrical drape. It's the, the, the cowl around the shoulders. It's just really gorgeous. The hair is gorgeous as the well. The hair is Slick. laid. It is perfect. Mm. Shoot I'm going to shoot me. this. This is 100% a shoot. Next, we bring to the stage Jessica Wilde. Yes. Oh, she's pageantry. Full glamour. Oh, yeah. Oh, that metallic underside is beautiful. She looks sickening. She it's looks so gorgeous. stunning. She is giving body the color on against her skin tone. Glow. It's, it's like a cocktail. Absolutely. Satiny, expensive, crystal, goddess. I give Jessica Wilde a toot. It's a very thunderous fart of a toot for me. And top our two. top two will bring out our first candy muse. Yes, bitch. Canary ostrich. Mm -hmm. Eleganza. This is very elevated for Candy. She doesn't really give you glamour with all this. This isn't her normal gig. Yeah. She's gotta be paid to do all this. I've always had like a strange affection and love for bright, bright canary yellow, mm -hmm. especially in feathers, specifically in ostrich feathers. I just yeah. love it. I think they're just so beautiful. There's something that kind of feels a little bit Josephine Baker about it. Mm -hmm. I love, I love a bright canary yellow. Big bird wishes, baby. I feel like she could have had a, a slightly larger hat instead of just a little piece of that feather right there. Like a big old whoo. Something, Woo, a yeah. thing right there. To, you know, I feel like it feels a little chintzy when you just take a piece of feather that came off a dress and pop it on your head. It would have been really cool to have like big bright yellow flowers or something, you know? A hat, a chapeau, a fascinator, something. It's, it's missing a slight fruit element. 
I still love it. I think she looks really Gorgeous. good. I think she looks sickening. To me, it is a toot. It's a toot. And last but certainly not least, honey, Miss Jimbo. Miss Jimbo. Oh. oh. Wow. Okay. She's letting you know who and what and when and where and why that she is. Baby, it speaks to me. Whenever you pop on a big eye on something, I'm like, yes, that's it. I love this really highly unusual print that she's gone with. Pop art it's twisted. It's super graphic, exactly. Pop art, it's got a graffiti feel to it. It's very, very, very special. Is it self-branded as well? I think I see like House of Jimbo. It's and fantastic. Her own referencing, it's iconic. Look at the shape on it, it's beautiful. Cute. There's Loves to match. The hair's cool. I'm getting a touch tired of these symmetrical sculptural wigs. You would have gone into more like mod. Or something just really slick. Something kind of opposite mm -hmm. because the outfit is its own animal. She looks like she's owning the art clown dominating world that is Jembo, and she's like the head CEO mistress of it. She's mm -hmm. this is like this solidifies her in history as being known for being just iconic. The Two. Complete two. Mm -hmm. Trend, Trend alert! Finger wave. Ooh, ooh, think of that wave. Think of that wave. Think of that, that wave. And you use your finger. Oh. You make a wave with your finger and you go like this and it goes over your eye and it like this and like that. And it's like, wow. Our, Our talk to the, the week is Alexis, Alexis Michelle. Michelle. Excellent. Alexa, excellent, Michelle. Excellence. Alexa, excellence. That Her red package. bitch. What the? F excellence. And congratulations to our sister, winner of All Stars, season eight, Jimbo. Jimbo, 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 Jimbo. Jimbo. I'm wearing my breastplate, Jimbo, just for you. Be sure to watch our Fame Game special coming up. Fame Game special coming right up. It has been an amazing season. I have loved every single moment of tooting and booting with you, dear but Carrie Colby, my little, my little um, niece. Like, I think I went from day one being like nervous and shy and gagged, because uh -huh. like you literally changed my life, whether Aww. you know it or not. Well, baby, this is the start of a family forever. I love it. Don't forget to subscribe to Wow Presents. Like and comment below. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Bye. See you soon. Who is she?